Hi everyone, Jeanette Byro here, helping you to make sense of life within the world of spirit and woo. And what I mean by that is it's my goal to help you make sense of these things that sometimes are so mysterious we just can't even wrap our minds around it. And um, I always go to spirit and I say, guys, how do I explain this in a way that people can understand? And they love answering questions about it. And so today I want to talk about ghosts and, uh, and, and why it's actually pretty cool if we get the opportunity to see a ghost. So a couple days ago, I posted, I think maybe a week ago, I posted about World Paranormal Day. And it was interesting because with World Paranormal Day, they were saying how in a survey they did, about 80% of people believe in spirits in the afterlife and ghosts. But of those 80%, 90% of them are terrified of the idea of ever seeing a ghost. And honestly, uh, when I was younger, I would have been leading the pack of that 90% of terrified people. Uh, because we've been taught that it's really scary. We've been taught through movies and shows and stories and haunted stories. And, and uh, the idea though is to really demystify some of that and explain it in real terms of what's going on. So here's the thing. Imagine you don't have a physical body anymore because you crossed over. But you want to come back and you want to let your loved ones know that you're okay, that everything is fine, that you're at peace. Or maybe you have a message of, hey, I forgot in the will, uh, make sure you get the, the document in the yellow manila envelope or who knows what, right? So you want to come back and you want to try and communicate this. But you can't do it because you can't do it in the way you did before because you don't have a 3D body. So what are you going to do? Well, you may try, try getting their attention by... Uh, sending your thoughts through to them, but they're mourning so deeply they can't hear you. So then you may go and decide, okay, I'm gonna come in in a dream. Yes, that's a good time because they're a little out there in the astral world and I can zip right in and we can have a chat. And so you have a chat in the dream and you explain it all. And they wake up in the morning and their conscious mind is like, oh, I had a dream of uh, my dad, but I don't remember it all. And he's sitting there thinking, ah, oh, I explained everything in the dream, but she doesn't remember it all. So then, so then they think, okay, how can I show themselves or how can I show myself to them? And they're like, well, what if I, uh, you know, play a certain song in the radio and this and this and this, and you know, the person gets it, but doesn't get it. And so then they decide, okay, I got to show myself somehow. And, and they do their best to muster up this energy to push their image out into our dimension reality. And the most that they can push out is like a torso and their face, but it's like a snapshot right? It's like a picture. And so they push it out, but they have this blank look on their face because in their mind, they're focusing so much on how to push the energy. And so then what we get is this floating torso with a serious, weird, odd look on their face. And we think, oh my gosh, it's a ghost. I can't handle this. What they're trying to do is communicate, but they can't do it in the same ways that they did before. And so they're trying to figure it out. And when we're in a state of fear, we block all those many ways of spirit communicating with us. And, and understandably so, I was there. But when I started to understand what spirit was trying to do, and then if I just kind of like simmered down a little bit and allowed the communications to happen and acknowledged when they did, and if I had that dream, then I would ask them for more clarity. Can you help me remember what it was? And opened up those lines of communication, then they don't have to force an image through of a floating head right? So if you think about it, like it's actually impressive if you ever see a floating torso and head. It's actually impressive. They worked really hard to show you that. So hopefully that helps you make sense of life and the crazy scary things that sometimes we experience. And maybe it'll help you take off the fear so you don't have to worry about it as much anymore. Because really, we don't need to fear the other side. We don't need to fear ghosts and spirits. They were here before just like we are now and we'll be there just like they are now. It's all part of the cycle. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you want to do any more deep dives with me into exploring consciousness and things like this, join me on the Jeanette Byro podcast. Uh, it's on all the platforms, Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, YouTube, you name it. And for more info on courses and such, join me at avalonspirit.com.